In this lecture, Ant, you're going to join the old dog in an examination of at least three levels of knowledge uh, formulated by Piaget. Now, keep in mind that Piaget was a scientist, and Piaget was not laying out absolutely that forever this is the only way it can be. But what he's doing is sharing with us his observations and moving us through these three stages. Now, to grasp this, we need to look at the transition that we just finished up with in the last lecture. It. We had a schema, and it most important, and it moved through the aspects of life from little Rusty to old Rusty. Now, these transitions that are done here uh, are also transitions in the way that life is experienced or that we interact with society. If we start with little Rusty, one of the things that he's interested in is physical knowledge of his environment. Little Rusty is about discovery. Have you ever seen a baby crawl up to something and the first thing they do, even if it's an old shoe, they have to try to stick it in their mouth to experience it. And you tell them on something, it's hot, don't touch it. And lo and behold, they have to touch it. That is the, the, the beginning level of knowledge, according to Piaget. It starts with an interaction of the, with the environment and on the level of discovery. Rapidly, as a person matures, however, it moves into the logical mathematical knowledge, which is the, the knowledge of invention. In other words, the individual is trying to determine how uh, the environment works, why things end up the way they are, what the interactions are, why, and all of the resultant factors of it. They're thinking their way through it logically or mathematically. Um, if, you, if you think about little kids, they go by what they see. And as you grow older, one of the things that you learn to do is to think about events where you're not trapped so much just by sight. Uh, that's that's a more interesting way. And then the third level of knowledge was that of social knowledge. Knowing not only how to think about your environment and understand the patterns that are there, but arriving at common acceptance of things with the remainder of society. Now let's go back and consider this diagram. What we have here is a continuum of development. Little Rusty might well be into discovery of his environment. He wants to stick that old shoe in his mouth. Young Rusty is about logical, mathematical thought. He's moving out of the concrete stage, and he's beginning to think for himself and to try to determine how things happen and why they happen certain ways. Old Middle Rusty, my lands, he really is into logical, mathematical thought, but he's beginning to want to operate into the frameworks of society and wanting to fit in. And then old Rusty, even though he likes that old metal bedpan and probably sometimes sits on it, thinks he's in an aluminum boat fishing, old Rusty might leave the bulk of his enormous fortune of $12.63 to the good of humanity. In these, in these theories... What Piaget was doing is telling us that development goes along a continuum. It is not that one stage wipes out the other stage. It is that one stage transitions into the next based upon levels of understanding. That when, the, say, the, the logical mathematical stage, a person is able to perform things that they are, and, and don't have knowledge at a level that they are not able to have in that of discovery. Hope you're enjoying this, and uh, don't get old too fast. Enjoy going through these stages. They asked Piaget when he was alive, came to the United States, and they asked him, well, how do we move children more quickly through these stages? He didn't answer that. He just said, hmm, that's a thoroughly American question.